This is making a tactile image using an iPad, Apple Pencil, and GoodNotes, or other stylus and drawing app. So we're going to use an iPad to make an image that we can print onto swell paper and run through the pee-off machine in order to have a tactile graphic for our snake book. Right now I'm just using a page to demonstrate. We're going to put a snake picture up here. This is the a print copy with a paragraph, a couple paragraphs on snakes, and it's from a book available on Bookshare. I'm doing an image search for snake. I put in snake black line drawing. This is the snake that I want to use. I make a screenshot. I open up Good Notes and hit New Document, and I want to choose Image. I'm going to trace the snake with my stylus. I choose the pen tool. I demonstrate with blue ink how that's going on the document. Then I switch back to black to trace the snake. After I've drawn the snake, I'm going to use the lasso tool to grab the annotation that I just made. I choose lasso and then circle the image. After I've circled it, I get options up above and I'm going to choose copy. Then I open up a new document and paste it and there's my snake by itself. Now I can go ahead and print it. To get an image from a book or something in print that you want to make a tactile picture for, you can use GoodNotes and simply take a picture to use that as your template that you trace. So I'm going to open up GoodNotes and hit New, and then I can say Take Photo, and I need to line this up here, my picture there, snap a picture, and when I use Photo, Now that's a new document, and I can go ahead and do my tracing process. I'll demonstrate with some blue here. Okay. Now I'm at the printer. I'm going to put my pee-off paper in there with the more textured side down because this printer prints on the underside, and I'll hit print on my iPad. There's my snake. Now I can take that to the pee-off or swell machine. I'm going to turn this on and run it through like this. Run it through. I can use this paper again. Snake. Feels good. Now I have my little tactile picture of a snake. I want to put it on my page and I want to glue this down in a way that's going to feel nice so there's not edges sticking up and that it will last a long time. The books that I've made about five years ago still have the images stuck to the pages real well. So, um, I'm going to do a process where I'm going to put glue stick on the back. I'm going to use an old magazine or catalog, and I want to just spread the glue so it's touching all the edges. This old catalog just allows me to turn pages so I'm not, I'll get glue on there, and then I want to get that out of the way so I don't get it on any other project. So I have a glue stick here that I thought was purple, but it's kind of fading. So it's nice to use the purple, then you just see exactly. And I'm just making sure that I go over all the edges or getting it on all the edges. Okay, so now I have the whole back of this with glue on it. I'm going to put it down where I want it. 
And then I'm going to grab another piece of scratch paper and put that over it and really press down. We don't want to mess up our image, but if this was something flat, I could run a credit card or a um, you know tool across to get it nice and flat. I'm just going to use a little piece of foam core here. Make sure all the edges are well adhered. And the paper on there, make sure we don't damage the image. And also, if any glue comes out from the edges, it'll get on the paper. And then we can discard that. So now my image is well adhered and it feels nice and smooth and it'll stay a long time.